Thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Gemini might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for August 6th through the 12th, 2022. Keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless, so whether you come across this reading right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you'll find a message for you within the reading. Now, if you feel like it doesn't completely resonate with you, of course, just keep the parts that do, disregard the rest, and if you know your other planetary placements. Just listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. Connect with spirit and ask our angels, guides, and ancestors for any love messages for Gemini for August 6th through the 12th, 2022. <clears throat> for Gemini for August 6th through the 12th, 2022. Okay, now I am dividing these into three stacks. And the card on the bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. Now the Page of Pentacles is your overall energy for this reading. So as we go through this spread, I'm going to show you how this Page of Pentacles is going to relate to the other cards that come up. And of course the Page of Pentacles, the pages are always about getting some type of news and Pentacles are uh, generally about security, money, uh, that type of thing. So we're going to put that there for just a little bit. Alright, and now for those of you who are new here, I do four rows. The first row pertains to you, uh, the things that you have been going through in the recent past, what's currently going on with you, and the things that are coming towards you. That could be uh, a romantic situation, uh, someone, you know, that you're getting really close to. It could have to do uh, with uh, work or, you know, any type of opportunity. The second row has to do with our twin flame, soulmate, divine counterpart. This could be a karmic partner, okay? It might be uh, someone that you used to have a connection with and you want to reconcile and uh, if they're coming back to you. The third row has to do with our obstacles and challenges, fears, anxieties, and things we do to ourselves uh, that tend to self-sabotage. And the last row has to do with outcome. Now remember that tarot is not prophecy, it's not anything that's written in stone. Tarot is about those energies that are surrounding us at a particular time. So if you know those particular energies are going to be there at a certain time and you're not happy with it, uh, you can be made aware of it and that way you are not so reactive. You can kind of have like a plan B or C or however many in your head to come up. Now I've got two cards in each of the four rows. I'm going to do that two more times. I will have a total of 24 cards by the end of the reading and then, uh, you know, we're going to have a pretty good idea about what's going on. Now in your column, we have the four of wands as well as the seven of wands. Okay, so uh, yeah, you feel kind of like you've been defending your position, like you've been having to fight to maintain the uh, kind of um, place that you're holding in this relationship. Uh, it kind of feels as if you are um, maybe in a relationship that might be on the verge of falling apart or either you are uh, waiting on someone to come back to you. Either way, we have good news because in the lovers column we have the two of cups and the ten of cups and these are both wonderful <clears throat> cards to have. Now the two of cups talks about those reconciliations and being able to find that balance and work things out and the ten of cups is finding that happiness with your person. Uh, you know you could be 
uh, you know, this could be, this could be it. This could be your a person, okay? This is the person that you see yourself growing old with. This is a person that you, uh, you know, you want to have children with, or if you already do, uh, you just feel like you kind of want to secure that position. You kind of feel like you have to fight for uh, any type of uh, validation in your relationship with this person. Uh, there could be quite a bit going on with them. Now, in your obstacles and challenges, fears, anxieties, we have the um, Three of Pentacles as well as the Six of Cups. So again, this is another Cups card. Now, you may be uh, dealing with someone that has a lot of water in their chart, possibly Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio uh, type of um, person, maybe someone that is, uh, has the traits of a uh, water sign. However, you know, this could also be uh, someone that, you know, you just feel as if you're not being recognized by them. You want that recognition. You want you want more attention. And see, sometimes like in relationships, once, you know, you have a good foot footing in them and once you're kind of settled, uh, you, you find that you might be taken for granted just a little bit. However, that deep connection is still there. The Six of Cups is about, you know, that soulmate connection. It's about uh, a feeling as if you have known this person uh, lifetimes and lifetimes and, uh, you know, you It's like, even if you haven't known them previously in this lifetime, uh, you had some type of connection with them. This may be a friend of a friend of a friend's brother or sister, right? Uh, but somehow they crossed your path at one time, and now here they are front and center in your life, and you are determined to make that work. Well, in the outcome, we have the Three of Wands and the sun. Now, the three of wands talks about just waiting. You know, you put in your work, uh, you stood your ground, you have held on, uh, you know, you're ready for that reconciliation that, uh, you know, you've been hoping for so much. And the good news is, with this sun card, all of these things are going to come into fruition for you. Just keep a positive attitude and, uh, you know, keep keep looking up, you know, because it's, it's going to happen. Uh, your person may be going through something uh, right now that, you know, maybe a little uh, spiritual growth, a little bit of awakening. I feel that uh, the two of you maybe aren't on quite the same level emotionally or spiritually, but you do have that very deep uh, love connection and uh, that physical attraction that you have with each other. Now we have the Eight of Cups and the Chariot for you. In your lover's column, we have the High Priestess and Hermit. Okay. Right. So, uh, obstacles and challenges. You have uh, fears, anxieties. You know. All right. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. And in the outcome, you have four of swords and the knight of cups all right so yeah you're kind of feeling as if you want to run away from it all you just like i'm feeling that you have been feeling just a little bit humiliated like you know that maybe this person keeps doing the same things over and over and uh you just kind of had enough of it you want to walk away you feel like there's better but in your heart you know that there's not uh this Cherry notice the stars over his head, and it's just like in the star card. It's about new beginnings and moving on, and the Eight of Cups is about moving on as well. You see these little sphinxes are sitting. They're not moving. You're thinking about it, but you really just don't want to. You know that you, know that you don't want to, but you kind of feel as if maybe you need to issue that ultimatum, and it's probably not a good idea to do that right now. Now, the High Priestess as well as the Hermit. All right, so your person is having quite a few things on their mind. I don't know what it is they're going through. Maybe they've suffered some type of loss recently, or maybe you have. Uh, maybe the both of you are maybe a little more emotional or moody than you generally are. Uh, this is a time to think about, you know, where you were, how you got to where you are now, and where you're going, and to, you know, think about that. Think about those differences. Now, just like in the chariot, you have the black sphinx and the white sphinx. You have uh, the white 
the white column and the black column here, talk about these opposites and these decisions that you have to make. Uh, you know in your heart what you want, and uh, you know always follow your heart. Always trust that uh, intuition and that instinct. Now, when you get to your obstacles and challenges, fears, anxieties, uh, you kind of feel like. Um, you have some insecurities that while you are away from your person, if you guys are in separation or if you're kind of on the outs, maybe they're sleeping on the couch or, you know, working long hours or you just, like I said in the beginning of this reading, maybe you feel a little ignored, uh, you're not satisfied with just uh, sitting there waiting on them to... You, you want to, you're feeling very confrontational. Uh, you feel like maybe this person is doing something sneaky, uh, that, you know, doing something behind your back. Uh, maybe that they are not telling you the truth or being honest about what they're doing or who they're saying even uh, behind your back. But, you know, this is your ultimate goal here. You want to be relaxed. You want to build a beautiful home. You want to watch your family grow and, uh, you know, come back together again. All right, now in this last column, we have the Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So, of course, yeah, there's always going to be this physical attraction between the two of you. There's no doubt that you are a very beautiful person, and so is your partner. However, there is a great deal of healing that is going to have to happen. Uh, you're going to have to work on the reasons that you feel insecure, um, you know. Yeah, that trust, the trust thing. It's real, and uh, until you actually feel it and uh, want to, uh, you know, be more relaxed and enjoy your place in the relationship, uh, you're going to have to find out why you have those trust issues. All right, now in this final set of cards here, we have the Ace of Wands and the Fool. Okay, we have the Tower and the Star. <laughs> okay, how quaint. All right, the, the star comes after the tower in the deck. It is number uh, 16 and number 17. All right, so we have the two of swords and the four of cups. And for your final outcome, okay, this is great. We have the Hierophant and the Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, it looks like, you know, your person's going to come back around. You're going to, you know, that physical passion is what's going to bring you uh, to together. And um, I don't know. Uh, it's just going to make you feel like it's just going to solidify. It's going to give you that chance to talk about what's going on and give you an opportunity to completely start over and feel this new relationship. Uh, well, this relationship have a new beginning, much like in the Fool here. So, you know, the Fool it, it represents both the beginning and the end of uh, the tarot deck. And so, you know, you've, you're leaving one situation and moving into the other. You're going to leave behind all of the things that are bothering you. Just, you know, forgiveness is a very important lesson that we can learn in life, and that's what's going on here. Now, the tower shows us that, you know, the way things were, they're not going to be that way anymore. You do have that opportunity, just like in that chariot, here comes your star. This is for that brand new chance to rebuild after everything has fallen apart. Uh, there is still so much to, uh, you know, consider and to think about, you know, uh, serious things, you know, uh, you, know you, you want this you want this life with this person and uh you know in order to have that you have to have that forgiveness and that reconciliation this is from the beginning of your read here all right now in the obstacles and challenges there's still going to be times when <clears throat> you feel as if you're listening to some bs okay it's like can you learn a new song and dance i'm getting bored here uh you know choose your words wisely decide what it is you need to let go of decide what it is you need to hold on to and don't make any hasty decisions because you know in your heart you don't want to go anywhere you don't want this relationship to be over so ending your relationship with the hierophant as well as the seven of pentacles uh you can uh, have this long-term relationship possibly even marriage with this person but it is going to take uh that healing okay all right 
so you guys have enough history and uh, have been working on things so much that uh, you can you can continue to, you know what works and what doesn't work. You know uh, how you feel and what it is you want with this person. And just like this man tending this, this little garden here, he's pulling out any weeds. Like I said, he knows what works and doesn't work. He doesn't want the weeds in his garden. He doesn't want bugs or insects or things, you know, destroying what he's planted. Uh, it's time to take this relationship seriously and to both of you mature and to grow and to, uh, you know, elevate this relationship to something higher that is going to make the both of you uh, very happy. So yes, uh, to top off this relationship, to end off this relationship, we have the celebration, we have reconciliation, and we have uh, this card, uh, the Ten of Cups, which is about joy and fulfillment uh, in your love life. So that is your reading for August 6th through the 12th, Gemini. I love you guys so much. I am so sorry. This, you know, the last few months have been crazy. I've had like five people pass away that were very close to me, including a uh, husband as well as uh, my mother. So, you know, you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to get, you know, get back on a schedule better. Uh, but, like I said, it's just been one thing after another. These last few years have been tough on everyone. All right, guys, I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Okay.